Return on equity or ROE is a financial ratio that can help you analyze the performance of a company or business unit from the perspective of the shareholder and compare the financial performance to others. This video takes you through the return on equity formula, shows you how to calculate ROE, how to interpret ROE and gives suggestions on how to improve return on equity. Return on equity links together information from two of the three main financial statements by taking the bottom line of net profit from the income statement and the equity or shareholder capital amount out of the right hand side of the balance sheet. ROE or return on equity is defined as net income divided by equity. In other words, the net profit that the company has generated during a year divided by the book value of the shareholder capital that the company owes on the balance sheet date. ROE is an important indicator of attractiveness of a business to shareholders. Can the company generate a good return on the equity that investors have invested in it? If you want to improve the ROE performance of the company, mathematically speaking, you can either work on increasing the numerator of profitability or reducing the amount in the denominator of equity. Profit can be increased by selling more units, charging a higher selling price, improving the product or service mix, realizing productivity and efficiency, achieving sourcing benefits or reducing the interest or tax charges. Reducing equity is a bit more challenging as a concept. Do you pay a large dividend to shareholders to reduce the amount of retained earnings that are part of the equity on the balance sheet? This might negatively affect the ability to keep your business running, as you might need that cash to pay salaries or pay suppliers. Do you borrow more to increase your debt to equity ratio and use this cash to fund faster growth, buy back shares or pay more dividends? Not an easy decision. I will zoom out to the bigger picture and take you through in a quick explanation of how to analyze the drivers of return on equity performance using DuPont analysis. If you like it and the explanation is helpful, then please press the like button below this video. You can split ROE into three pieces. If you multiply each of the three elements, the return on equity calculation is compressed back into the original formula. The first element, ROS or return on sales, is net income divided by sales, which is an indicator of the relative profitability or operating efficiency. How many cents of profit are generated for every dollar of sales? The higher the ROS, the better. The second element is asset turnover, calculated as sales divided by assets, a measure of asset use efficiency. Can we maximize the amount of sales we generate with the assets that we have? For both ROS as well as asset turnover, the higher you can push this, the better off you are, financially speaking. The last element of the DuPont three-part equation is leverage, assets divided by equity. Whether this should be high or low is a much discussed question, and I don't think there is a definitive answer. On the one side, if you can borrow more money, take on debt at low, low interest rates and put this money to productive use, you could grow the company faster and generate higher returns. On the other side, if debt is very high compared to the equity in the company, you increase the risk profile and decrease your buffer against bankruptcy. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed this short explanation of return on equity, then please press the like button for me. On this end screen, there are a few suggestions of videos you can watch next. Please subscribe to the Finance Storyteller channel, so you stay up to date on my latest videos for free. Thank you.